start with the continuing tour around Europe by South Korean President Moon Jae-in. He held talks on Friday with his counterparts from Britain and Germany, as well as the President of the European Commission. Their discussions naturally centered on efforts to denuclearize North Korea, but they also touched on the issue of trade. Our Shin Se-min, who is traveling with the President, files this report from Copenhagen. President Moon Jae-in urging his European counterparts to start peeling the layers off international sanctions on North Korea to further motivate the regime to scrap its nuclear weapons program. On the sidelines of the Asia-Europe meeting, or ASEM, on Friday, President Moon held separate one-on-ones with British Prime Minister Theresa May and German Chancellor Angela Merkel on the progress being made on the Korean Peninsula. The South Korean leader reportedly said there needs to be discussions at the U.N. Security Council on providing humanitarian aid or lifting sanctions on Pyongyang, at least when the regime reaches the point of no return in the denuclearization process. Prime Minister May welcomed the, quote, different environment and opportunity on the Korean peninsula, but both May and Markle reiterated that pressure on the north needs to be maintained. Prime Minister May and Chancellor of America shared common ground on the need for specific measures to speed up the denuclearization process. But President and City of North Korea are taking practical steps towards its complete, but viable and irreversible denuclearization. The leaders of Britain and Germany also expressed their support for the peace drive in the region and credited President Moon for his leading role in the process. President Moon also met with European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker on Friday. They reaffirmed their commitment to free, multilateral trade amid rising protectionism led largely by the Trump administration in the U.S. Agreeing to further strengthen their ties, President Moon asked Juncker to ensure that the EU's safeguard measures on South Korean steel imports do not negatively impact relations between Seoul and Brussels. President Moon's final stop on his five-nation tour in Europe is here in Denmark, one of the pioneers of green energy. Here, the South Korean leader will highlight the importance of a united coalition to tackle global challenges, including climate change. Shin Se-min, Arirang News, Copenhagen.